power of the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that would. The, what we just talked about would be the equivalent of the nocebo effect. Remember, mm -hmm. a belief can interfere with your health. A negative belief, or a positive belief, can bring you health. A negative belief can interfere with it. So, mm -hmm. what's my belief? I am not. I do not heal myself. That's what I learned. And when I exercise that belief, then I have to shut off my healing. Because here's the thing that people don't understand. Mm -hmm. But it's a, if we can get this fact that this is something to build on, it goes like this. The mind has programs in it, beliefs, and that the nature uh, of our biology is that the minds, the programs in the mind create our reality. Mm. So that if we have beliefs in the mind, then the function of the mind is to create, a bio create the biology to match the belief. Mm. If I have a belief of being powerful, then my mind allows me to be powerful. But if I have a belief that I'm a victim and I'm weak, then my mind will not allow me to be powerful because that would be a violation of the belief. Mm -hmm. So we become what the beliefs say we become. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now here's, here's the, the problem, and this is a big problem. I said the mind controls the genes. But there are two minds that are different from each other and they work together. That's right. One of them is called the conscious mind, the one that we think with, the one that we have our personal identity with that makes us unique individuals, our, our creative mind, our thinking mind, our rational mind. Uh, that's the conscious mind. And then there's the other mind called the subconscious mind. Exactly. And the subconscious mind is the mind that has programs in it. And, and the the, here are two important facts. Number one. They're not equally powerful. The conscious mind and the subconscious mind are not equal. Listen to this number. The subconscious mind is one million times more powerful than the conscious mind hmm. as a computer. Mm -hmm. If I was looking at them as computers, the subconscious mind is one million times more powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, now, one other set of numbers, and then, then it's like mind-boggling when I give you this set of numbers. It is now recognized that from, on a day-by-day -day basis, we operate about 95% of our life comes from the subconscious mind. Hmm. And 5% or less of our life is controlled by our conscious mind. There we go. <laughs> Okay? Jeez. Now you put those numbers together and you realize that and any one of us on a regular day by day basis, 95% of our life is being controlled by a mind that is more, a million times more powerful than our conscious mind, mm -hmm. called the subconscious. Hmm. So that while we believe we run our lives with our conscious mind, the truth is we are running our lives with our subconscious mind. Mm, that's right. Now, but the name subconscious means below consciousness. Mm. And so what it means is this mind doesn't require thinking. It, you don't have to be conscious. This mind is like reflex, stimulus, response. Sure. Here's the stimulus, make the response. No thinking. Okay? Now here, now here comes the disconnect. It is the conscious mind that has our wishes and our desires and what we want from life. That's the conscious mind has those things. Mm. That knows who we are and who we want to be and what where we want to go. And then the subconscious mind is just programs. But here's the problem. The subconscious mind programs, most of the fundamental programs were acquired from our parents and our family and our community when we were very, very young. Mm. So now I tell you, okay, what you want in your life is in your conscious mind. And yet, your 95% of your life is controlled by the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. which has programs from other people, mm -hmm. and as a result, may not have any programs to support what you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so basically it says, yes, only about 5% of your life are you actually creating with what you want, and 95% of your life is being created by programs, most of the fundamental ones, mm -hmm. not from other people. We're going to continue our conversation with Bruce Lipton in our subscriber section. We're going to talk more about the biology of belief and uh, his amazing findings and research about consciousness and biology. 
You can find much more information about Bruce's work and how to get a copy of his book at his website brucelipton.com. On December the 27th we are going to do our first live show. We will be broadcasting live from our studio and our guest will be Chris Knowles who was with us in November. All information about this will be available in the next couple of days on our front page redicecreations.com. Check the radio box on the left hand side. Thanks to Fredrik behind the controls and to you for listening. We will be back on Thursday with Ben Fairhall from Battling the Bohemoth and Jake Kutzi from the Brave New World Order. A program not to be missed. Until next time, take good care. You gotta, you gotta let me